Primo's Honey, stream the language. I'm Jordan, this is Slade. We work at Primo's Hunting and we've had a question about how often to call to a turkey. I mean, it all depends where you're at in the country, what turkey you're hunting. That question can go in a hundred different directions. Oh, you know? Well, let's break it down and talk about the turkeys we hunt. We hunt these hard-headed southeastern turkeys. I call that a different subspecies than eastern because they are evil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are mean to you some days. Well, you know, I've always told people you can't just call and expect a turkey to answer. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you call for a reason, you call at a certain time during your hunt, but the main thing is, if you listen to that gobbler when he answers you, if he answers you, 90% of the time, he's gonna tell you what he wants for you to kill him. Mm -hmm. You just gotta pay attention, so, me, I'm an aggressive caller, you know, yeah. the old timers, my, my dad and uncle all the time, you know, if you get more than five times, you ain't gonna kill him, you know. <laughs> Wait 30 minutes, yelp three times, wait an hour, yelp two times. Yeah. I'm the type of hunter, if he doesn't come up in there gobbling or acting crazy, I mean, it's fun to kill turkeys, but I love to see them show out. Yeah. You know, that's what I, I like to get them fired up and get them coming in there. And Me too. Bro. I mean, that's part of turkey hunting to me. That's why I go, yeah. to hear that gobble. It, I don't have to kill him as long as I can hear him or see, see him or show, get close, yeah. yeah. I guess you'd call us aggressive turkey hunters. Mm -hmm. We don't wait for it to happen. We like to make it happen. Yep. And a lot of times you're gonna bump turkeys. That's just part of it if, if you like to hunt that yep. way. But yeah, you know, I'm like you, I want to hear it and see it. I don't wanna just, I mean, I still love to sit there at daylight and hear the birds chirping mm -hmm. and hear nature. But you know, once that sun's up, I'm tired of sitting there waiting. I'm ready <laughs> to go, go make something happen. Go find the turkey, do something. Go find where he's at or yeah. even go get a biscuit at the quit stop. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But anyways, you know, when you dive in this deeper and you finally strike that turkey, nine times out of 10, if you pay attention to where he is and if you know your place, you'll know if he's going to maybe want to come or not. Right. If he's down in a hollow or something and gobbles and you time it and he takes him 10 more minutes to gobble, more likely he's going to have hens with him. But if he's up on a ridge or a high spot and he's gobbling every minute, He's gonna be by himself nine times out of 10. He's gonna be ready. So it's all about knowing your geographical location on your place where that turkey is and testing his temperature from there. We're right on the edge of the hills and the delta. Mm -hmm. And hill turkeys, what a lot of people don't realize, it's like elk hunting. They'll come up to find you, but mm -hmm. they're never gonna come down. Yep. So you've really got to know your terrain and, and be a woodsman, so to speak, mm -hmm. of where you hunt, know where a ridge is, where you can get around and move because if he's up on another ridge and you're on a ridge over here, nine times out of 10, you know, he's not gonna come. But if you just wait till he moves off or whatever where you mm. can move and then you might can call him up because they'll always come up to find you, yep. but they're not gonna come down because they, most of the time they can see. There's no set calling scenario you do every time you go. It's just one of the things you gotta get out in the woods experience the hunt and learn from it each time and take notes if you need to it'll help you in the long yeah. run 